Joe Johnson here at 20 Front Street in Lake Orion, Michigan, here with Ronnie Cox. Uh, Pleasure to meet you. My pleasure. Thank you. Welcome. One of the most iconic scenes in movie history is dueling banjos and deliverance. Now, with your music background, you you played live on set for that? No. Or, no? Steve Mandel, who, who played the piece, taught it to me note for note. So if you go back and look at the movie, I'm playing every note that's on there. Because, and I had an agreement with John Borman and we watched that if I missed a note, we'd say, don't use that take. Because, so, so, so did I play it? Yes. Is that me on the soundtrack? No. So right out of the gate, you're in an Oscar-nominated film. I think it was Burt's only Oscar-nominated film. Uh, what was your reaction when the movie got the accolades? Oh, oh got? my life changed in ways that you couldn't imagine. Let's go to Beverly Hills Cop. That's a movie that means a lot to the Detroit area because there's quite a few scenes yeah, filmed yeah, in Detroit. Of Eddie wore the Mumford T-shirt, which was a Detroit school. Yeah. Talk about uh, your involvement with Beverly Hills Cop and working alongside Eddie Murphy. Uh, working with, I've done three films with. Eddie. I did, I did Beverly Hills Cop, Beverly Hills Cop 2, and then we did another little film called Imagine That together. And I, I love working with Eddie. And, and, and there's also there's something about when you're working in a film that, that you know while you're doing it that this is going to be a blockbuster film. And it just gives you such sort of confidence, if you will. I have this memory of going to the movie theater and seeing the cardboard standee of RoboCop and seeing the title RoboCop and I'm like, what the hell is this? What was your reaction when you saw that title, you saw that script? How did you go from that to being in the movie and making an awesome sci-fi blockbuster? Well, see, that was another thing too. It, it, especially in the old days, but, but it, there's a great tendency to typecast you. One of the reasons Paul Verhoeven cast me as Dick Jones is because of this residual goodwill that I had sort of as a person in Hollywood. You know, so they, they looked at my character and he was gonna be a good guy. And when Dick Jones turned out not to be a good guy, and, and then that made him twice as evil. We shot Total Recall in Mexico City. We took over the the whole of the Churbusco studios there. So I was playing Vilos Cohen, who's the most evil man in the universe. But at the very, but, but the, the timing got screwed up. And I was also under contract doing another, I was doing a film, the, the Canon uh, was doing a, a, a production of Captain America. Uh, the, the, and we were shooting that in, in Yugoslavia. We were shooting in, in, in Dubrovnik, Yugoslavia. So, so I'm flying, and we're shooting them both at the same time. I'm flying back and forth from Yugoslavia to Mexico City, and and Vilos Kohagen is the most evil man in the in the universe, and and the guy in Captain America is the sweetest, nicest president. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I had to sort of look down and see who I was playing. <laughs> the, the, 